Today I'm going to be planting some bare root oriental poppies. I have four different varieties here. They range from 28 inches tall up to 40 inches tall. They need full sun. And what we're going to do is I'm going to open these bags up. Here's the bag that they come in. This one is Patty's Plum. And I have Beauty of Livermore. Helen Elizabeth and I have Perry White. You want to open it up and you want to soak it for at least 30 minutes in some water. So I'm going to open this up. Here's the root. It's got a little bit of growth on it. Let's see, yes, there's just one in here. So this bag is full of peat moss and I'm going to dump that out. I'm going to put it back in this bag since I have four different varieties. I want to soak them. I don't want to get them mixed up because I want to be able to label them. This is a number one sized root. Bare root plants are generally grown in a field situation. Just rows and rows and rows of them. And then they are dug up, cleaned up, and trimmed. They will trim the roots a little bit then they get shipped out. Make sure that you inspect your root when you take them out of the bag. So this one here has some mold on it right there. Very small root compared to, the root has actually, I believe, fallen off, compared to this one. Looks very healthy, has some growth on it. So, but this one, I'm not even gonna bother to plant. While the poppies are soaking, I'm going to go over here and pick up some compost and some leaf mulch. Where's my shovel? plant these 18 inches apart. The recommendation was 18 to 24 and because I'm going to do these for cut flower production I'm going to go just to the 18. The top of the plant should be just below the surface so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plant it probably about right to here and then I'm going to fill this bed up with compost so then eventually it'll come right to the top of here. My trowel is 12 inches, so it's a good way for me to measure. Now I'm adding a little layer of shredded leaves on top. I get these from one of our local villages. They um, collect them and I never knew, but when they do, you know, they vacuum them up, there is a shredder there. I never do that. But anyhow, so one of them is bringing me loads and loads of leaves and I'm not doing real thick on here because after I do this, then I'm topping it off with some um, pine shavings that I also get for free. It never hurts to ask. Ask around, look, you know, ask for what you're looking for. Tell people you're looking for it. And it, and you should be able to find it. Earlier in the video, you saw wood chips also. I get those free from Chip Drop, getchipdrop.com. And I have a video on that if you wanna go back and look at it. I'm trying to make this not too thick. My beds are 30 inches wide from, from the inside to the inside. And it's 
almost a little bit too much for me. I guess I have short arms. in a few years after doing this, these beds are gonna be really nice. This will really, really help with weed control. It takes a little bit of time, you know, to do this, but it's, it's time now or time weeding. And I would rather take the time now while it's nice and cool in the fall. Okay, let's get these babies watered in. 